I thought the way that you used the best in the board is the very, very well done. Um, it's very clear that, the, that those are the three important points that you want, you want us to remember and know, and that's the key takeaway of the speech. And by putting that on the board is uh, very solid and very nicely done. Um, and the eyes of interaction. Um, I thought the way that you asked us to answer these questions is a very good way to start your speech because it really aroused people's attention. And as a way to begin your speech, it, it really encouraged people to pay attention at the very beginning. So that's a very important technique that you guys can just consider using in the future. Uh, the third is K, is the knowledge. Uh, I thought that you really like a professor. <laughs> you should have been a professor. You should just stop doing that for whatever. Like, I think you make more money by being a professor. Last time, see, yeah, they pay a lot of money for the MBA class. That is not uh, 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, okay, you should, you should be doing that. Um, but I think the way that he portrays as the expert in this subject matter give us uh, a lot of credibility to believe what he's talking about. And um, by being acting like an expert, it really gives him so much power in, in delivering what he wants to talk about. Um, and, then, and then I want to talk about actions. So um, the way that you deliver your speech, you, you use a lot of uh, good ways to uh, to make yourself more, look more powerful and more convincing. Um, the way that you you raise your voice when you want to stress a point, um, the way that you pause before you want to talk about the important point, and also the way that you use hand gestures when you want to mention something important. And I also like the way that you, when you talk about the three pillars, you actually stack around and you said three pillars. Uh, that kind of give me a kind of like a very solid picture when you want to talk about the three pillars, how important it is when when you grab something and you, you lose the other two. I think that's a very official way of uh, illustrating what you want to talk about. And finally, is to ask as a story. Um, that's the uh, point that I want to uh, mention that you may consider. Um, Another way, alternative of doing it. Uh, when you mentioned that company failed because the, uh, there are some small story that people talk about in pantries and on the uh, where, wherever, like the toilets, hallways and the hallway, coffee exactly. rooms and the hot right. rooms. Exactly. Uh, I think that's a that's a good point. But I would like to see a like more solid example when you actually mention maybe like an example like. I don't know, let's say Enron, like what happened to Enron. Maybe you can spend like 30 seconds. Like what's your personal take on a, on a, a, a completely crap disaster that happened to a company? And I think that could also be a good point to, to use. You know, because it's also quite a point instead of uh, something that is more vague that you need imagination from the audience. But uh, all in all, I think because um, being being so much professional, and I think you have done a very good job all in all. And I look forward to your future speech. Thank you. Yeah, that's the end of our evaluation sections. So now you can vote for our best prepared speech, best table topic speaker, and the best evaluator on the balance sheet. And when you're done, please pass the sheet to the end, and then we will come who is the best of the night. Yeah, just pass the whole sheet to the back. Oh, okay. so that we have to see this. <coughs> and next, we'll go back to the uh, facilitator report sections. Let's first welcome Tiffany for the timer report.